have never gone on social media to uh, announce when I got a period, so there is no need to announce when I miss my period, okay? What's up, YouTube? A real authentic bitch has arrived. <laughs> okay, guys, this is my first YouTube video. I never thought I was gonna be doing this shit, but here I am. My name is Temi, also known as Temgazi, also known as a real authentic bitch. Okay, nobody calls me that. I call myself that, though. I just decided that maybe it was time that I started this youtube channel thing my friends have been telling me to do story times on youtube for time now and i've just been too scared to do it but i thought why not let's do it i've been through some shit in my life and a lot of crazy things have happened that i really need to write a book about okay so the first story i'm gonna be sharing with you guys is about when your bitch found out she was pregnant. As some of you may know, I just had a baby nine months ago, little baby Nevea Owami. And I recently released my new song, Grateful, along with its video that was basically introducing my baby to everyone else. A lot of people did kind of know, and a lot of people assumed that I was hiding the baby in shame, or, hi or like it was like this big secret. It was no big secret, okay? I've said this time and time and time again, and I'll say it right now on this platform. I have never gone on social media to uh, announce when I got a period, so there is no need to announce when I miss my period, okay? Never a need to do that. And on top of that, it's none of anybody's business, really. The people in my life that knew are people that support me, cover me in prayer, well wishes, good spirits, all of that. The African community we know can be very negative, okay? And there's a whole lot of holier than thou's that have like their own opinions and act like, you know, they're better than everybody else. And today's story is basically a story time talking about how your girl found out she was pregnant in these streets, okay? Let me put you in the setting. Firstly, actually, I need to go back two months before I found out I was pregnant. So, boom. October 2020. I'm having mad dreams about me having a baby girl. Like consistently, like every single day, I, I kept having this particular dream about me having a baby girl. Like holding a, like a little baby girl and I was so happy. And the way that my dreams are set up is if I have a dream more than once, it's gonna happen or it's currently happening in my life and I just haven't seen it yet. Anyways, like I kept having dreams about me being pregnant and I, and I had mad baby fever, like mad baby fever. So December comes about and I just feel like I am definitely going to be pregnant. By the end of this month, I will be pregnant. So I'm telling my partner, I'm like, babe, I'm gonna be pregnant by the end of this month. And he's like, ah, nah, no way. And I'm like, nah, I'm definitely gonna be pregnant by the end of this month. If I'm not pregnant, it's a miracle because I feel it in my bones. I feel it in my uterus. Cheeky, cheeky, as my people say. That basically means next minute, boom, it happened. And this is how I found out. It was like January, right? January last year. I'm like, I really feel like I'm pregnant. Like I was I was telling all my friends, I was like, yeah, I feel like I'm really pregnant. And I had been telling one of my girls, Lulu, that as well. So this one night, I was like, I need to, I need to go to Lulu's house. I need a girl's night. I need Moscato, not just a glass, but I need three bottles of Moscato. I need to drink, I need to drink. So I call up Lulu, I'm like, Miguel, I'm coming over. Let's go get the alcohol. So she's like, yeah, girl, come through, come through, whatever, let's go. I go to um, Lulu's and you know, we go, we go get three bottles of Moscato. And then on our way back to her house, she's like, Miguel, how about we just, uh, I don't know, go to the chemist? And I'm like, for the why? And she's like, Miguel, to get a pregnancy test. And I'm like, for the why? But anyways, I was like, okay, girl, let's go. Let's get this test, whatever, let's go. So we go to the shops at this chemist in Fairfield and um, we buy the test. 
and as we are in the chemist so there's like the pregnancy test aisle and like you know like they have like um medications for women and whatnot like women that are trying to get pregnant and whatnot um and then on the other aisle next to it it's like baby stuff like like you know like the baby like utensils and like you know like the 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 little baby binkies like what do they call those things babe pacifier that's the word they have like pacifiers and whatnot and i'm like yo if my ass is pregnant that's going to be my aisle that one right there like if my child if me if i'm pregnant that means the next time i come in this chemist i'm going to be buying a pacifier the next time i come here that's gonna be that's gonna be my aisle that one right there is going to be where i reside and i was like damn like this is getting too real so we buy the tests and then we go back to Lulu's house. As we are driving and like about to pull up to her door, my heart starts beating. I could I could hear it in my left ear. And like, I'm like, yo, Morgel, Morgel, I'm pregnant. And then she's like, no girl, you're not pregnant. No way, you're not pregnant. There's no way. My girl, we're just gonna go. We're gonna, you're gonna take the test. When it comes out and that you're not pregnant, we're gonna celebrate, my girl. And we're gonna celebrate by drinking the wine. It's gonna be good. And I'm like, my girl, I'm pregnant. And then she's like, girl, like, don't stress yourself out. And I was like, no, my girl, I can feel it, my girl. I know, I know I'm pregnant. I, I know, I've been saying I am and I know that I am. Okay, let's just go get, like, do the test so, like, like we, we know, definitely. Go up to her house, ne? With my books of tests, three in the packet. Get in the toilet, and I read the instructions, and it says that you're supposed to pee on the stick, wait three minutes, and then it's gonna say pregnant, or it's gonna say not pregnant. Bet. All right, it's time to pee. I kid you not, single drop, duck on the test single drop i didn't even do a pss. i just did it not even three seconds not even three seconds this test said pregnant in capital letters and i was like oh i don't get a shit i look at the, the test i'm looking at the box it says three minutes and i'm like oh, okay like i remember in that moment like i saw when it said pregnant i was like oh i'm pregnant and then i was like i boo ha no 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 hold on and I was like, I know. It says here three minutes on the box. It hasn't even been a full minute yet. It wasn't even 60 seconds. All right, cool. Let me shake it. Maybe if I shake it, just a cha cha cha. Like, it, you know, it will fix itself up. Shake it. Look at it. Still says pregnant. I know. I right, let me just face it upside down and then turn it back up. Wait a second, chilling on the toilet. All right, it's time to face it up. Face it up. Nope, pregnant. Okay, you know what? Maybe if I just just do this to my head, just to, to the side and just close one eye and then look at it from an angle. Yeah, well, it will change. Pregnant. Yeah, shame the girl's pregnant. What can we do? I walk out of the toilet. I'm not nervous at this point. I'm not disappointed. I'm not nervous. I actually felt like a little ray of like, oh my gosh, yay. But then I was like, oh at the same time, right? Anyways, I walk out of the toilet. Lulu's in the kitchen. My nephew comes up to me. He's like, Auntie Tammy, Auntie Tammy. Da, 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 da. I have no idea what the heck he said because I'm just like, yo, baba, in my head, right? Lulu comes from the kitchen, like running, pushes our nephew outside of the room, closes the door. I'll be right, I'll, I'll get to you in a second, baby, she says to our nephew, closes the door and she's like, Miguel, what happened? What happened, Miguel? What, what did it say? Oh no, girl, I'm pregnant. Okay, and she laughs, she does this little laugh, and then she's like, no, surely you're not pregnant. Because you wouldn't be this chill if, like, you were actually pregnant, right? No, girl, I'm pregnant, yeah. Where's the test? I'm like, oh, it's over there in the corner. She walks up to the corner, gets the test, and she's like, yo, Morgan, you're pregnant! You're pregnant, Morgan! Yeah, girl, I'm pregnant! Oh my gosh, oh my gosh, okay, so we're gonna need to buy a pram, we're gonna need to buy a car seat. Now she's pacing up and down the room, she's like, okay, I don't know, how much does formula cost? Okay, okay, no, okay, you know what, we have all the sisters in our life that have had kids before, we're just gonna ask them how much it costs, okay, let me get a notebook. She gets her notebook, she's like, okay, let me write it down, okay, so what did we say we need? Oh my gosh, my girl, I'm stressed, oh wait, but then what if it's a girl? Oh my gosh, that's so exciting, it's gonna be a little baby girl. Oh wait, no, I'm being selfish, my girl, why aren't you, why aren't you, like, saying anything? Why are you so relaxed? 
I don't know what to say, my girl. Like, what can I do? Like, I'm, I'm, I'm pregnant. Like, what can I do? What can we say? My girl, like, you're, you're a bit too relaxed. It is what it is. Like, I'm pregnant. Like, as soon as I said that, I was like, wait. Like, so the whole her pacing up and down the room, it started to click in my head where she was like, ah, how much is formula? This, 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 this. And I was like, yo, huh? Mm, okay, what are you gonna do? And I was like, okay, you know what, girl? When I was in that bathroom, like on the box, see the box, it says three minutes, girl, it says three minutes. It didn't even take three seconds. I, one drop, bah! Like, just one bad drop, my girl. And it said pregnant. It didn't even wait for me, girl. I even tilted my head to the side and closed one eye. And it still said pregnant. And I was like, girl, please take one test. And like, let's see. Like, maybe the tests are broken. Maybe it's faulty and I'm going to need some new ones. You take one. And then, like, we'll see. Like, maybe it's broken. She goes away for some minutes. And then, like, she comes back with her test. And then she's like, she has it in her hand. She's like... Mm, girl, mine says negative. Yeah, you're pregnant, Shem. Yo, girl, it does. I take her test, so I look at it, it says negative. I mean, it says not pregnant. And I'm like, damn. And I'm like, okay, cool. She's like, what, are we gonna, what do you want to do? And I'm like, I have to tell, I have to tell my man. I got to tell that nigga. Like, I need, I need to tell him today that we have a puppy coming. Um, and then she's like, okay, girl, call him. And I'm like, no, girl, you call him. All skin, shit. So she's like, okay, cool. I'm gonna send him a message. She texts him on her WhatsApp, and she's like, "Nigga, you need to come to my house quickly, ASAP." Yeah. So he's asking like, what's going on? And she's like, just get here quickly. So he pulls up 30 minutes later. I see his car pulling up, and I'm like, yo, it's about to go down, Baba. So anyway. Mind you, pause, side story right now, right? Real quick, one time for the one time. During this whole, you know, get down of the get down, right? We had pre-booked flights to go to Melbourne and have ourselves a hot girl motherfucking weekend, okay? Because we are young, fresh, and fun, and free. So I wanted to go have some fun in Melbourne with my girls, do wretched things with my wretched friends, and, uh, you know... I never had plans to be with child, but here I was. Back to the story. My man's parked downstairs. I see his car pulling up sweet, slowly. And I'm like, yo, all right, let's go. Get my pregnancy test, put it in my bra, right between my titties, this titty. Go down, get in the car. And then he's like, okay, uh, what's going on? Yeah, you know how um, I've been saying that I feel like I'm pregnant? Yeah. And you know how I said that I was going to go and do a test with Lulu? Yeah. Well, I did. Okay. And what did it say? I pull out my test for my titty, the left one. I'm pregnant. And it was like, <laughs> you know what? I'm not going to tell you what his reaction was just yet. Okay. Because you need to come back and tune in to the next video. Especially after these lockdown situations are all over. That way I can have my friends here and they can talk about their parts as well. And my mom actually said she wanted to be in the video. So let's go. We're going to do it. So once again, thank you for coming to my YouTube channel. Like, comment, share and subscribe. I think that's what these YouTubers be saying. And yeah. Like I said, the real authentic bitch has arrived. I never knew that I could love like this. But I'm happy that you showed me. Happy that you showed me.